for it to everybody out there in the internet world. Let's go to St. Luke, the 23rd chapter, verses 39 to 42. And one of the male factors which were hanged reeled on him, saying, If thou be the Christ, save thyself and us. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, Do not thou fear God, seeing thou art in the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds. But this man hath done nothing amiss. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shall thou be with me in paradise. I want to say here today, the penitent thief, this thief repented on the cross. He asked God to forgive him, he asked Jesus to forgive him of his sin. Because he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. Now this man knowing that one day Jesus is coming back to set up his kingdom on this earth. And this man asking Jesus will not come back and set up his kingdom on this earth. Remember him. And Jesus replied to this repentant Steve, this day shall thou be with me in paradise. I'm saying out to, to my sisters and brothers out there in the internet world, that man is not in paradise with Jesus, not yet. Because Jesus has to come back and set up his kingdom on this earth. But when Jesus come back again, this thief gonna be in paradise with Jesus. So I'm saying to my sisters and brothers, where is this man living today? He is in the grave, sleeping until the rest of the day. And when Jesus called him that day, this thief is going to get up out of that grave and be with Jesus in paradise. I'm saying to my sisters and brothers today, let us get some understanding of God's word. Let us understand the independent clause and the imperative clause of these statements that are written in the Bible. God give us something to do. He wants us to use our mind, use our brains, use our intellect. So I'm telling you out there in the internet world today, this man is not in paradise with Jesus yet. Jesus is up there in heaven. Jesus hasn't come back into his kingdom not yet. He's still up there in heaven with the Father, but one day Jesus Christ is coming back and to live in his kingdom on this new earth, headquarters Israel the brand new Jerusalem. So I'm saying to my sisters and brothers today, if you've been born again, baptized with the Holy Ghost on fire, you ought to understand the word of God. If you don't understand the word of God, listen to somebody who God got qualified to let you know the interpretation of these words which you don't understand. So Prophet Macabre crying out today, this man is not in paradise not yet. He is not in the kingdom of God not yet because Jesus is still up there in heaven with the Father. But when Jesus comes into his kingdom on this earth, headquarters will be Israel land and that new Jerusalem on David's throne. Then this man could be with Jesus in paradise forever. God is a good God. God loves us. He wants us to be strong. He wants us to be safe. He wants us to do the thing that is right and acceptable in that sight. So in my conclusion on this short matter, when Jesus come back again, this man have his guarantee. Jesus let him know today, brother, thou shall be with me in paradise. When Jesus come back and set up his kingdom on earth, 
this man will be in New Jerusalem living with Jesus forevermore. You and I, we got to continue to fight on, to make it in to God's new paradise, which will be the new earth, which will call the kingdom of God. So until another broadcast, this is Prophet Otis Makaba Sr. saying, Salam, Salam Ali Hashem, peace unto you. God bless you. Uh-huh.